Hello everyone! I hope they are all having an absolutely wonderful Monday. I'm unbelievably excited. I'm about to do something I haven't done all year, which is a Project Pan intro. <laughs> so um, previously, if you guys have been with me for a while, you know that I started my whole channel about project panning. That was basically all that I uploaded for a really long time. I kind of got burned down on it a little bit this last year. So this year I've only been doing my one major project pan and I haven't brought in anything else, but I'm feeling the itch again. And I've decided that I need to lean into it while I'm decide while I'm feeling this way, I need to just jump on it. I was thinking I was gonna wait to the new year to start this project, but I think no, now is the time. So this is going to be Project Level Up. If you've never seen Project Level Up, it was created by Sophie Alexandra, who I will link down below. And it's an eyeshadow panning project, which, <laughs> oh my gosh, I was so burned, burned out on eyeshadow projects. I tend to just be very light-handed when I use eyeshadow, so it takes me a really long time to hit pan in eyeshadows versus uh, other people that I watch, for example. So I just felt very discouraged uh, panning eyeshadows, but I'm ready to try again. So this particular project, it's like a combination of all these fun projects put together. In level one, you randomly select a palette. You have to use each of the shades in the palette once and then try to hit pan on one shade. Level two, you randomly select a palette. You have to use each shade twice and hit two pans in the palette and then the levels continue. So she, Sophie, has said that she's very happy to have people change the project to suit their needs. I'm probably going to end up doing that a little bit just because it does take me so long to hit pan in eyeshadows. Depending on the eyeshadow that I roll in, uh, my goal will be either pan or a usage. I will probably aim for 30 uses. But I'm thinking of very specific formulas that I know take me a very long time to hit pan in. Sydney Grace, for instance, I have spent almost 100 uses trying to hit pan in one matte shadow before, so I know that would be a formula where if I rolled in one of those palettes, I would happily use the palette, but I'm probably not going to hit pan anytime soon. Anyway, I'm very excited to be doing a project like this again. It's always very exciting to the whole random generation part makes it just extra spicy. So I did put the majority of my palettes in a spreadsheet just for this project. I did leave one or two out, just the ones that I knew for a fact I didn't want to hit pan on. I'm trying to be reasonable about that, but I'm trying not to be too picky. I do have 43 of my palettes in this spreadsheet. So I'm using random.org. I have one through 43. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. Let's generate a number. 31. Which palette number 31 is? Scrolling, scrolling. <laughs> I can't believe this. What? Okay. I mean, I'm not mad. <laughs> this is one of the newest palettes in my whole collection. This is from Pat McGrath. This is the original Mothership, the subliminal palette. Okay, so this, hmm. So there's the shiny outer packaging. Let's open her up. This palette is so beautiful. I actually just spent several months <laughs> testing this palette. So uh, I'm happy to have it out again. I really like it. It's a beautiful palette. It does lean more cool. It is very nice for this time of year. Honestly, any time of year, I can wear this type of color story. A quick swatch it out for you. Okay, so there's the color story. You can see there's some very, very beautiful topper shades in this palette, along with a beautiful royal blue that is a baked shade, as is this kind of golden shade up here. The rest of them, <laughs> I mean, we're talking Pat McGrath, so the shades are absolutely enormous. They're deep, they're very pigmented, and I tend to use a very minuscule amount whenever I use this palette. And you can't even tell that I have been testing it because it looks brand new. So this is definitely gonna be one of those formulas that will be a usage goal, <laughs> which I feel kind of sad about for my very first palette that got chosen that it is going to be a usage goal, but I gotta be realistic. I, I won't be trying to hit pan in this. It's one of the newest in, in my collection, but I will definitely be using each shade at least one time, and I'll pick a shade that I will use 30 times. Honestly, my first inclination is this taupe right here. Whenever I use this palette, I reach for that taupe, which happens to be this shade right here. It's really, really good crease shade for me. So let's talk a little bit about some general goals I have with this project to avoid 
burnout because in the past whenever I have panned eyeshadows I do tend to be kind of obsessive I will only use the things that I am panning and neglect everything else in my collection which is one of the reasons why I stopped panning eyeshadows I also felt like when I was panning eyeshadows I would use them in a way that was unnatural to me <laughs> I would use more eyeshadow than I normally would, or I would use a brush with a shade that I normally would use a finger with. So I'm going to try and avoid those types of behaviors. Still be working on eyeshadows, but just do it at my own pace. I'm kind of interested to see what this shadow will look like after 30 uses. There won't be pan. I'm honestly not even sure if there'll be much of a dip, to be honest. These pans are so deep and heavily pigmented. But I guess we'll see. <laughs> you guys will have to let me know if any of you have tried to hit pan on a mothership uh, before. I know I've seen others do it. Mel Thompson, I know, one year did the Divine Rose palette as like a pan that palette. She had incredible uh, progress in that project. If you've never seen it, her videos are still up on YouTube, so you can check those out. But I remember watching that and just being like floored at how much eyeshadow is in these palettes. I am happy to be getting some good use on this very expensive palette. So yay! What a fun time! I'm excited! I think two my goals for updates as much as I would like to do them monthly in keeping with the whole kind of chill factor and trying not to stress myself out, I will just be posting updates to this project whenever I have something to share, basically whenever I'm going to be leveling up. Thank you guys so much for following along with me on my silly little panning journey here on YouTube. I very much appreciate the support. I realized I was so excited I didn't even tell you what I was drinking today. I'm drinking a black jasmine tea. This was actually from Thailand. This is from Monsoon Tea. I think this has a really good body to it. I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, it's kind of luscious. This is good. If you're new to my channel, I do have a tea of the day pretty much, yeah, every day. <laughs> I, I don't but I do usually share at the beginning of the video. I was just so excited this time. I, ha I had to just immediately get into the eyeshadow. We'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye! Mm -hmm.